welcome to all of you today we discuss about multiple choice question answer for probability statistics 2021 paper cc 11 semester 5 mathematics honors for university of calcutta This is the question paper. First question is question two thousand twenty one A and B are two independent. Events such that probability A bar equal to 0 0.5, probability B bar equal to K, and probability P A union B equal to 0 0.8, then K is two by seven of some three. Here probability a union b is this by addition rule probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b probability of a equal to 1 minus probability of a bar and plus 1 minus probability b bar this a intersection b uh, this means probability of a intersection b is probability of a and probability of B, probability of A into probability of B because A and B two independent events. So P A into P B uh, again P A equal to one minus probability of A bar into one minus probability of B bar. Now A bar probability of A bar equal to zero point seven probability zero B bar equal to K. So we put all these values of probability of A bar and probability of B bar and after simplifying we get 1 minus 0 0.7 k and this uh, simplifying we get this now probability of a union b equal to 0 0.8 so 1 minus 0 0.7 k equal to 0 0.8 so k equal to 2 by 7 option 3 option 3 is correct here Next question The standard deviation of a uniformly distributed random variable 0 less than equals to x less than equal to 1 each uh, option a b c d here option is 2 let capital X be a uniformly distributed random variable in close to interval 0 1 then probability density function is this fx equals to 1 by b minus a for a less than x less than b and 0 elsewhere then alpha r which is integration of a to b x to the power r fx dx is equal to x to the power r fx 1 by b minus a f do dx and after integration we get this so n is the mean equals to expectation of x which is equal to alpha 1 so put here alpha equal to this so put uh, 1 for r so from this 1 by b minus a this r plus 1 so b square minus a square by 2 so b plus a by 2 is the mean and variance of x equals to mu 2 that is equal to alpha 2 minus m square so alpha 2 so put r equal to 2 here so we get alpha 2 minus n square m is this n square so after simplification we get b minus a whole square by 12 so standard deviation sigma x equals to 
uh, this. <clears throat> 1 by root 12 b minus a. Now, if a equals to 0 and b equals to 1, because your interval is 0 to 1 closed interval, so uh, this sigma x equals to 1 by 12, 1 by root 12 is the required standard deviation. 1 by root 12 option is 2. Next question, if fx is a probability density function, then the value of c uh, for the following function, fx equals to cx, if, if 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 6, and c 12 minus x if 6 less than equal to x less than equal to 10. Here, fx is the probability density function, so minus infinity infinity integration fx dx equals to 1. So, here 0 to 6 and 6 to 10. So, here integration 0 to 6, uh, this implies an integral plus integration 6 to 10. So, this of 0 to 6 is cx, and for 0 to 6 to 10, is c 12 minus x. So after integration and simplification we get c equal to 1 by 34 is the correct option is 1. Next question d if phi t is the characteristic function of a random variable x then that of a plus bx will be a and b in two constants option 1 to 3 4 correct option is 1 here phi x t is the characteristic function of the random variable x then a plus b x will be let this capital y equals to a plus b capital x this y is random variable for this then phi x t characteristic function of x this expectation of e to the power i t x for all t belongs to r real numbers set of real numbers then phi y t this equals to expectation of e to the power i t y i t y this equal to uh, expectation of e to the power i t a plus b x so e to the power i t a plus i t b x this i t e a is constant e to the power i t a so e to the power i t a into expectation of e to the power i t b x so e to the power i t a is equals to phi of t b that is function of phi of t b this equals to phi of t b so this is the option one is the correct option Question E is the joint probability density function of x, y uh, is given by this fx equals to 1 by x, 0 less than or equal to x, or less, uh, y less than or equal to 1, and 0 otherwise. Then probability of x plus y less than or equal to 1 is equal to this. Here, probability density function fx equals to this. Now, the event of this x plus y is then equal to 1. So, this 
x axis this y axis x plus y equals to 1 is the straight line is given by this this less than 1 so this less than 1 is the region this region shaded region so actually this region shaded region is integration from 0 to 1 x from 0 to 1 and y from 0 to 1 minus x this y equals to 0 x axis to this up to this so this uh, y equals to uh, up to this point uh, line y equal to 1 minus x and vary this variable strip from x0 to x1 then we get this region so this double integration x equals to 0 to 1 y equal to 0 to 1 minus x and <coughs> 1 by 4 dy dx so after uh, simplification uh, we get this probability of this event x plus y is then equal to 1 equal to 1 by 8 option 3 option 3 next question if let capital A square and sigma square respectively denote the sample and population variance variances uh, for a simple of size n uh, then uh, expectation of capital A square is equal to this here sample variance capital A square equal to 1 by n capital N summation i equal to 1 to capital N bracket capital x i minus capital x bar whole square here capital x bar is the sample mean and mu is the population mean now summation capital x i minus mu whole square this equals to summation capital x i minus x bar plus capital x bar minus mu whole square so breaking this summation x i minus x bar whole square plus 2 capital x bar minus mu into summation a square plus b a plus b whole square so so this is x is a square plus b square plus twice a b this x bar minus mu is constant so independent of i so out of summation this taking x bar minus mu is out of summation and the summation uh, within the summation this x i minus x bar minus x bar and plus uh, this summation x bar minus mu whole square so these uh, n times the so for um, this this n times this and uh, for this i summation i x i minus mu whole square equals to i x i minus x bar whole square plus this because this is zero so uh, summation x i minus x bar equal to uh, n uh, here uh, in is the um, this is capital n so this is capital n here printing mistake this is capital n uh, this capital n is equals to zero so obviously this term is zero so we get capital n this capital n to x bar minus mu whole square so we get result expectation of a square equals to expectation of uh, e1 by capital n summation x capital xi minus x bar whole square so um, after simplification this by 1 uh, this by uh, 1 1 by x bar minus 1 uh, by this expression by 1 this call it 1 this expression is 1 so use this uh, please replace this small n by capital n and this summation over i capital x i minus mu whole square minus capital x bar minus mu whole square so 1 by capital n expectation of this minus expectation of this uh, into cap capital n into by 1 by capital n so this equals to this so this equals to the summation of vari variance of x i minus variance of capital x bar so 1 by capital n summation variance of capital x because variance of capital x bar is the variance of 1 by n to summation capital xi so 1 by n square equal to variance of a capital xi so 1 by n square equal to variance of capital x because xi uh, x1 x, x2 xn are all have the same distribution uh, of capital x and they are mutually 
independent. So uh, this can be written as uh, summation i over i variance of capital X minus variance of capital X bar. And this equals to n into sigma square. n into sigma square, so sigma square by n. So cancel this n sigma square by n. So 1 minus 1 by n sigma square sigma square minus sigma square by n that is n minus n by n and this sigma square. So correct option is this. Here uh, wrongly printed here small n. Actually according to our question uh, this is capital N. So correct option is sigma square by n, sigma square by capital N. So uh, please uh, this is the small n uh, replace capital N in place of small n. So here capital N. This correct answer is over n minus n minus n ma, n minus sigma square minus sigma square by n sigma square minus sigma square by n. Sigma square minus sigma square by n. Here capital N. Uh, but uh, wrongly we uh, um, um, write this note small n. Please rectify this. For a normal n sigma population, consider a sample of size small n, and if u equals to root n x power minus n by sigma, and probability of minus u epsilon less than capital U less than u epsilon equal to 1 minus epsilon, and x bar being the sample mean, and capital U is the random variable corresponding to small u, then probability of capital U is greater than U epsilon equal to what? Actually, uh, for the normal distribution M sigma population, uh, we know this probability density curve this minus U epsilon to U epsilon uh, when sigma is known. The area of the shaded region, this uh, shaded region, density function is 1 y equals to 1 by root 2 pi u to the power minus x square by 2 this x axis and this y axis under this normal density curve standard normal density curve the within this region ordinate minus u epsilon to u epsilon uh, we know that um, uh, under this region uh, area is 1 minus epsilon probability of minus u epsilon less than capital u less than u epsilon is 1 minus epsilon so obviously probability of u greater than u epsilon equals to this region is epsilon by 2. u is greater than u epsilon is epsilon by 2. And the whole area under this uh, curve, density curve under this normal standard normal density curve is 1 from minus into to plus infinity. So for this event of this probability, capital U greater than u epsilon is epsilon by 2. So correct option is 1 epsilon by Next question is the variables capital X capital Y are connected by 2x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. The correlation coefficient between them is what? Here capital X capital Y connected by this relation 2x minus 3y plus 5 equal to 0. So uh, we can write this. Uh, the regression line of capital X on capital Y is X equals to X equals to 3Y by 2 minus 5 by 2 or we can write Y equal to that is the regression line of Y on capital X Y equal to Y equal to 2X by 3 plus 5 by 3 from 1 the regression line of X of, of X on Y and this is the regression line of y on x from uh, 1 we get uh, b x y equal to b x y equal to 3, 3 by 2 and from 2 b y x equals to 2 by 3 now we know that b x y into b y x equals to rho, rho square correlation coefficient so this rho square equals to 3 by 2 into 2 by 3 that is equal to 1 so rho equals to plus minus 1 here b x y is greater than 0 so rho must be positive 
so here row must be positive so row must be one so correct answer is one that is option two option two next i question for f x theta equal to one by theta zero less than equal to x less than equal to theta to test the hypothesis h naught such that theta equal to one against h one such that theta equal to two in the critical region one less than equals to x less than equal to one point five the type one error is what Now, the critical region W is the set of all those x such that 1 is less than equals to x less than equal to 1.5. This critical region is this, given this. And W bar is the acceptance region is the set of all those x such that x is greater than 1.5. So, this is the W, 1 between 1 and 1 1.5 including uh, both these points so obviously accepted region w bar is this uh, x greater than 1.5 and x less than uh, 1 so size of type 1 error that is equals to the probability of the event uh, belongs to uh, critical region as uh, so when a0 is true so a0 a0 is means a not a not this theta equals to 1 so uh, x belongs to capital W that means 1 less than equals to x less than equals to 1.5 and such that theta uh, equals to 1. So this integration from 1 to 1 1.5 f x theta we put here th theta equal to 1 so f x 1 dx. So after integration we get 0 0.5 so this is the type 1 error. Note that the size of type 2 error is the probability of x belongs to w bar when h1 is true so this equals to 1 minus probability of x belongs to w when h1 is true that is uh, 1 minus probability of 1 less than equals to x less than equal to 1.5 and when theta equals to 2 so after simplification we get 0 0.5 the power of the test beta w equals to 1 minus probability of x belongs to w bar when h1 is true that is the size of type 2 error so obviously 0 0.25 now here correct answer is 0 0.5 so uh, correct option is 1 correct option is 1 next question consider a bivariate sample xi yi with correlation coefficient r the regression coefficients bxy and byx are connected by this correct of some age two because uh, we know that a regression line of y on x is the y minus my a mean of y by sigma x variance of standard deviation of y equal to r into x minus mx by sigma x this is the regression line of y on x so we can write this y minus my equals to r sigma y by sigma x x minus mx and regression coefficients byx equals to r into sigma y by sigma x that is the slope of the line of y on x similarly regression coefficient bxy is the r sigma x by sigma y where sigma x and sigma y are the standard deviation of x and y respectively so obviously multiply this b y x into b x y equals to r sigma y by sigma x into r sigma x by sigma y so we have obviously r square so correct option is 2 so this is the correct option uh, we complete this multiple choice question for 2021 mm, thank you